Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you guys so much for tuning in as we go ahead and take a look into Boy Meets World, season number one, episode number four, called Alternative Friends. So, previous episode, you guys, was a really good episode. We actually got to see Alan, who was a very hard uh, working father who just wanted to spend time with Corey, but due to the busy schedule that Alan has, he, tr he finds it very hard to go ahead and actually hang out with Corey. So, in the last episode, there was a baseball game that was being played, and Alan wakes up Corey very, very late. They watch the game, they go to sleep late. But this actually is a bad thing for Corey because Corey has a test in the morning that he ends up failing because he fell asleep. And, um, you know, long story short, there was a meaning in that last episode that it was just really good to watch, you know, and I feel like this, this show is, that's just what this show was all about back then, you know, they love to bring messages and, and put messages into these episodes to make you really think about certain things, and uh, so far, that's what I've been appreciating the most about watching these shows, so I'm very excited to get into this next one to see what it's all about, and uh it's Boy Meets World. It should be fun, man. It should be a good episode, so I'm looking forward to it. So anyways, if you are a fan of Boy Meets World and what we do here in Geek Down Nation, don't forget to leave the like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on our Patreon if you guys want some early and unedited episodes. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look into the next episode of Boy Meets World. Clean crisp, mountain air. Not even close. Philadelphia. <laughs> Polluted industrial smog. <laughs> Stadium, home of the Colorado Rockies. Veteran Stadium, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, here we go. The Rockies, a bogus expansion team, mind you, are averaging four more runs per game than anyone in the league. Okay. Because of their clean the air. Our theory is, if Philadelphia would clean up its smoggy air, the ball would slice through the atmosphere with a greater velocity. Therefore, the Phillies... Again, but this time, I'll choose the teams. Mr. Hunter, you'll work with Mr. Minkus. Oh, no. <laughs> and Mr. Matthews. Yeah, I'll hook up with Mr. Sullivan. It's no, Topanga. You'll work with Ms. Lawrence. You hear that? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Barney was the Barney was the shit back then, you guys. I don't even know. Is this still air? I don't know. He's gross. He's a total Brillo head. <laughs> oh, they're talking about you, Corey. <laughs> Move on now. Sure, it's easier for you to talk. You got hair. I'm a chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> Jedediah to drive me to your house after school. Real busy here. Fine. I'll respect your space. You guys are busy, Corey, talking about your hair? Wow. <laughs> Feeny must really hate your guts. <laughs> then why is he sitting at the weirdo table? <laughs> it's like the cast of the Adams family. Put her in the toaster oven. <laughs> no, Probably not. That would be a mistake. Right. Mommy. What? I made a mistake. <laughs> oh no. Corey, didn't you smell that? I just thought we were having plastic for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't care what she looks like. Debbie's my doll and I love her. <laughs> well, sweetheart, we'll get you another doll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Amy. Amy, or if you prefer mom. Donut in the sky. Space. Big gaping place. <laughs> Without, within, our skin. Donut in the sky. Free on. What is going on? <laughs> Humpback whale. So pale. Exhaust is all lost. Donut in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do that in front of the class. People think when people laugh at you, they're depleting their own karmic reservoir. <laughs> You're gonna be one of those girls who doesn't shave her legs, aren't you? 
Why would you say that, Corey? <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Did you actually try to be weird? I don't think I'm weird. I think I'm unique. You? Then it's beautiful. Okay, okay. Got the stuff. <laughs> Use a mirror, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you something you know how those dolphins get caught in the tuna nets yeah it's got nothing to do with that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so should this stuff be burning why is it burning no, is that a perm a conversation because we never really get to talk how bad's it burning call your sister <laughs> Oh my god, is he bald? Oh, oh, this must be bad. Oh. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Corey, what did you do to your beautiful hair? Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> oh, how corny. How cheesy was that? <laughs> Not with a comb. It doesn't really matter, Mom. His hair's gonna fall out. Eric. Completely ineffective if there's a polyurethane force field surrounding your head. <laughs> I just hope your hair doesn't fall out. Huh? Yeah, That's what I thought. That's why I said, is he bald? This kind of stuff in his hair, bald as a cue ball. Okay, listen up, family, because I... In my class. Mr. Feeney, if there was one shred of humanity in you... Oh, my God, Corey. On. They could Who see your hair. Sixth graders have bled <laughs> me of my humanity. <laughs> Take off your cap. You'll be fine, Corey. They can see your hair, dude. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Go ahead, laugh. Your hair looks... Over here, duckhead. <laughs> Corey, there's a seat for you here. His hair does look ridiculous, though. <laughs> and most of all, you need people who aren't you. Well, that's kind of mean. Proposing to help us? Yeah, I guess I am. Why? Because life is strange, and now so am I. <laughs> Stupid to believe him. I feel cheap. Oh my god. <laughs> I know you people are way too smart and mature to find something as degrading as this. Skin roll. <laughs> Remember, hold your ground. It's Friday afternoon, <sighs> and we are the only roadblock to freedom. Things could get ugly. Okay. What are you geeks doing? We're gonna miss the bus. Hey, look, it's Don King. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, here's the deal. The school board is forcing Mrs. Rosemead to retire. Who cares? Stupid petition. Cafeteria. I'm signing. <laughs> hey, at least it worked. Wow. How did we get out of here, though? Great, it was kind of cool oh, okay, they got the keys. Angry mod. I never knew I had it in me. Wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't be interesting. Kiss her, Tafanga. Kiss him. I hope she kisses him. Because then you'd know. It's not what you look like on the outside that matters. It's what kind of person you are. Mm hmm You shouldn't kiss somebody you're not married to. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I would. Oh! <laughs> My first one too. <laughs> His face. Oh man, that is so funny. You know. That was cool. That's cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That was our episode? I believe so. That was a pretty good episode, you guys. Um I so Hold on, can I get back into it? I want to get back into it.
Hold on, let me get back. I had to sit, see y'all episodes. Okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, that was a good episode, ladies and gentlemen. Now, remember, the first, very first episode, uh, I told you guys that I knew about Boy Meets World. I, I, I kind of started watching the show when they, I believe, were already in high school. Um, and even then, when I was watching it, I didn't really watch it, like, watch it, you know? So I knew and know a lot about the characters. Like, I know for sure Corey and Topanga eventually you know, start to date sometime later on down in the show. Um, but this is cool. This is very cool because we got to actually see the first meeting between Corey and Topanga. And uh, yeah, with with knowing what I just told you guys, I, I never knew how these two met each other. So this was a very cool, very interesting episode. And I'm not going to lie, I was happy and smiling the whole way because like I said, I know that sometime down the road, they do eventually get together. Now, I don't know what happens when they do like I don't know what happens like at the end of the show I don't know if they stay together or not but I do know they do have a period of being with each other um so yeah so this is cool you guys I thought this was a really good episode great way to get introduced to Topanga um she looks like she was into Corey pretty early on so that's also cool to see um I really liked what I seen from Corey in this episode because I seen a lot of him in me or I see a lot of me and Corey in this episode. So, funny fact, back when I was a bit younger, maybe around Corey's age, I felt the same exact way with my hair. As you guys see, my hair is peasy as hell. Like, it, it, I used to have the same kind of... What, what is it called? Is that called, like, phobia or something? Like, when you feel that kind of way about yourself? Maybe not, but whatever that term is that is called or whatever, you know, how, whatever people say that the word is... That's how I used to feel, man. I used to definitely feel the same exact way Corey used to feel as far as like, oh, my hair is so crappy. I wish my hair was straight. I used to think the same way. So I thought this episode was really, really good. It was really funny. It brought me back to, you know, way back in the days when I was about Corey's age. Um, it was funny, man. This was a really good, funny episode. Like I said, I thought it was a really great way to get introduced to Topanga. Um because, like I said, I never knew how these two met each other. Uh, if you were to ask me before watching this, I would assume that these two maybe wouldn't have met each other until way later on. So this is all brand new to me. Uh, this is all brand to, uh, new to me. I didn't know that these two characters known each other for so long. And Corey's friend as well, because I know Corey's friend named uh, is Sean. I know Sean. Um, I, I know that they all get really close and become really good friends but I didn't know how it started so this was a really cool way to see the beginning of how this all began now I wonder if Topanga at this point was a regular I wonder if she was just brought on for this episode and that we won't see her until later on um I'm very curious if that's what this what if this if that's what this was okay um because I could see that happening I could see that maybe they brought her in for an episode because they didn't think may maybe too much about her character and then maybe later on she comes back on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing speculations out here uh, because I don't know. I, I never knew this interaction or this meeting happened so early and so soon. And I I'm actually kind of happy that it is because I feel like we get to learn more and, and care more for the characters for when they do decide to get together. Um, I think this is pretty cool. So I hope that we do get to see her more often on the show now that we got introduced to her. Um, hopefully she is a regular on the show from this point. Uh, but if she's not, it won't surprise me, okay? It won't surprise me if they didn't really think that Topanga's character was going to be anything. Uh, because sometimes you will have characters like this where, you know, they'll throw a love interest in here for an episode or two and then they'll just get rid of the person you know what i mean so this is cool to see very happy very good episode uh and that's just about it so thank you guys so much for tuning in today i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i can't wait to watch the next one with you guys so thank you once again and i will see you guys on the next episode of boy meets world